for them. Kent State won the toss, deferred their option to the second half. So Ohio State begins with the football, and here's Dontre Wilson. And that is one of those speed merchants that the Buckeyes have, if they can get him in space. They run the option on first down. Ezekiel Elliott takes played six games as a true freshman a few years ago. Plenty of time and a swing pass in the flat from JT Barrett to Ezekiel Elliott. Elliott makes a move. And he's inside the 35 out of back After to the was over. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 36. Does Kent State have anywhere near the athleticism as Barrett here gets caught behind the line and dropped for a loss by second and 14. Good throw outside the numbers. Dontre Wilson on the end of five-man rush. Barrett finds a wide open Wilson or check that Michael Thomas for a walk-in touchdown. Man coverage behind, and you have to be able to match up. Excusable to not have that in your back pocket. Knowing that Bud Foster is going to give you a lot of man coverage. Ernest Calhoun looking for a lane, and he finds one out to the 25 yard line. Did not show very well in the first two games. They roll reared and out of the pocket, long throw to the sideline, and he missed. Nick Holly weaving his way for about three, maybe four yards. To a long six. And they move the pocket again with Reardon. A throwback screen, and it's there, but great recovery for Anthony Melchiori, who does the punting and the field goal kicking for Kent State. Gets it away to Dontre Wilson. Returnable. It's like trying to tackle a guy in a video game at times to see back here with Urban Meyer. A.T. Barrett flips it. Wide open in the flat, Ezekiel Elliott, who picks up eight. They need to start featuring people. Barrett again. That's an easy first down hook up with Nick Van Dam on the play clock for JT Barrett. Able to look to the sideline twice, dial up the option, and the pitch to Ezekiel. Another first down. Van Ant upended after a game. Again, they run the option. Again, it's Elliott. Breaks a tackle. Hurdles two more golden flashes. Great pace to this Ohio State offense. And JT Barrett, long throw to the back pylon. Incomplete look. A junior that had not played a ton. Barrett well protected, wide open again. Nick Bennett, who didn't have a catch. The do a week ago they did, now they're doing it. This is, this is like stealing right here. Rod Smith, touchdown. Protection. Nice probably walking into a very tough spot today. Ohio State coming off the loss. And again, short kick that's returnable from the nine. Out to about the 23. And let's go. Swing pass to Nick Holly. When a team is so significantly draw play on second and seven, and Holly's got some room. Out to about the 30-yard line. Here comes a blitz, and they throw a screen behind it. Well designed. There goes Holly. Out to the 42-yard line. And involved in the recruitment process. High throw, incomplete. Penn State, you can't have. Okay. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. And there's Lichable permanently, and it has now been announced that Noah Spence is going to be seeking treatment for what he acknowledges is a drug problem. That deflected pass ends up off the hands of Chris Humphrey, and they'll call it a deflection and an interception. Bounds. Let's see what happens. Great awareness. The deflection by Duran Gray. Tyvis Powell was trying to stay in bounds. Let's, Let's get another look. Look at his right foot. See if that's not okay. So the ball is eligible. There's control. He has his right foot down first before his left. That looks like it's not going to count. But I've been wrong before. <laughs> Not since I've known you. Yeah. That ruling must is have just further further further. That's For the, the replay official upstairs to change the call. I don't know if his left foot ever After lost review, content. The ruling on the field of an interception stands. Yeah. Have a turnover. JT Barrett looking for the big throw, and he's got it in stride, but a drop. For a problem against Virginia Tech as well. When you get this kind of speed, though, you make up for a drop pretty quick. Ezekiel Elliott, 41 yards rushing, 29 yards receiving. JT Barrett looking for the big play again. 
Another nice throw, but that... Curtis Samuel, all kinds of running room. Another Ohio State price kid. I think he's got a shot. Out on the edge, it's Bennett. First and... Instead, it's a slant, tipped, and intercepted. Kent State gets a takeaway. Two. Looks like they're bringing the blitz inside. Juking his way out. They try to spread the Buckeyes out, run it again with Murray. Colin reared in on a quarterback draw. He'll run for it. Got to sit things down. You can do this for a while. Now Reardon off his back foot, throws it. Reardon, the sophomore, facing third down and ten. And facing a blitz again. Good throw, but well short of the come away empty after starting at midfield. So you're saying I got a chance. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Line drive that is returnable for Dontre Wilson. And again, it will position for Ohio State near midfield after an 11-yard return. Everyone studies it. Yeah. Great protection for JT Barrett. Another breakdown in I saw Tolstoy in your pork bag. <laughs> yeah, it was. Pork piece. A little speed end around to Dontre Wilson. And he uses Right up the middle goes Rod Smith. He's really fun for me to watch. JT Barrett. All kinds of time. He'll tuck it under and run and get caught from behind. Be out of control. Yeah, he goes, he's disturbed. I got a kick out of that. Third and seven. Cut back for Corey Smith. Comparative that they make the tackle where they make the catch. You can't have the yards after catch. Kent State couldn't even get... Rod Smith right up the middle. And that's another Ohio State touchdown. To the Sugar Bowl this year, two national semifinals leading up to a true national championship game. Ernest Calhoun stays in bounds. He's got a long way to go with flags down to get back to where his blockers are feathered. Some teams don't. Some teams get worse as they go on. Colletti. A little read option, and not much there on the cutback. Need out of conference wins. We'll see how it plays out. Long throw to the sideline on third down. Bottled and dropped by the Buckeyes already with a three touchdown lead. About to get the football back. Great field position on a knuckleball out of the end zone. And Wilson on a hop gets down the sideline. Stays in bounds. JT Barrett back to work. Swing pass in the right flank to Curtis Samuel. Flag down. Samuel breaks a tackle. Lost his shoe. Field. We've First of all, shown that here. Defense number 91. Half the distance from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Breaks off. JT Barrett with all day. A deflected pass in tough. But you can see he's got it. Fumbles the snap. Retreats and goes down. That's in fifth grade. He's been getting ready to do this for some time now. Facing third down and long. And he will come from 41. Maybe Urban must starts returning starters. And you could say, according to our ESPN Football Power Index, Oklahoma with the second greatest chance. It's amazing. So BYU will be a very interesting team to keep our eyes on as this college football season rolls on. This and Strzok already being introduced to that defensive front for Ohio State. Down he goes, a set on the field. But McMillan is going to come out from us. See, he, he was deployed in the past, but he's just going to run him down inside out. Almost over random. We're going to test your knowledge coming up. Nice throw. Bullet for throw. But you got to help your quarterback. You've got to make these catches. Long throw by Strzok outside the number. He could practice with Urban Meyer on the coaching staff laying into them. They were anxious to get back out on the field today. And they have certainly shown that. Good coverage, though. Spreads five wide. Only a three-man rush, so he has all day. But delivers an opponent. But their assignment right. Better throw that time. In stride is Michael Thomas. He's down the sideline. Michael Thomas takes up the distance. Another Buckeye touchdown. And it all started with the protection. Lots of time. It's a five-man protect on four guys. You have the advantage up front. And then it's just step and throw, and the rest is done for six. 31.
Columbus here in the first half. And he'll take back to Colin Reardon at quarterback. A swing pass to Nick Holly. Hand off Nick Holly to midfield of the game for Kent State. And it's Holly again, this time wrestled down. And a flinch and a false Offense start. Number 74. Five yard penalty, still second down. Just skewed to one side, it's three and two. You run to the two side. Swing. Here comes the blitz. Rear tracked down and thrown down. Darren. Andre Wilson is back deep to receive the punt. And he'll let it bounce, and it will roll nicely for Kent. They've had field position go against them at any point, and it doesn't go against them for long. Ezekiel Elliott, one point. Barrett fumbles the snap. Has all day, though, to pick it up, maintain his composure, and scramble for three. This has now become a game with opportunities for Ohio State to do that. Move some guys around. It's all valuable snaps for this offensive line and quarterback. Third down conversion, smoothly done by Barrett over the middle. Barrett hadn't started a game in 23 months. Long throw to the edge. And Another one in the bank that's going to bode well for his experience. Shovel pass. It'll be third down. Third and six. He buys time against the three-man rush. Now escapes the pocket and is hit hard out of bounds. Tempo. Here's Ezekiel Elliott right up the middle, easily done. Fourth down conversion for the Buckeyes. It began back at about the Ohio State three. JT Barrett, strike, delivered to Corey Smith. Play action, JT Barrett again. This time he escapes the pocket. And Tom Herman. Let's go. Option. Barrett will keep it. Pick up the first down. Needs to work. Another shovel pass. And this one diagnosed. 13th play of the drive is a lob to the end zone and complete flag down. Pass interference, defense, number seven. Foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the ball be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. Play action. Hop pass back to the end zone for the touchdown. The tight end, Marcus Ball. He's sitting this game out. And touchdowns now for JT Barrett. And another chance for Ernest Calhoun from the goal line. Brought down at the... Here comes the pressure. They screen behind it. There goes Nick Holland. There's first down number four. For... Nice keep by Reardon. Ohio State. Fall start. Offense number 63. Five-yard penalty, still second down. Second down and long now as Reardon throws one over the middle, and that's good for a first down. Defensively, they were a little bit better, and their takeaway in this game is going to be the same. They'll be better as a team coming out of this. They fake the bubble screen, and it's a little end-around handoff for a gain of... Bob Cole, their offensive coordinator, does a really nice job. Colin Reardon throws across his body, deflected ball, intercepted by Joshua Perry. Well, Reardon tries to fit it into tra tight traffic. Is that Humphrey? I couldn't see it was six or eight. It's Chris Humphrey, the intended receiver. Yeah. And Tyvis Powell. Check that Eli app. Off the turnover, the home run ball connects. Staying inbounds and walking into the end zone is Devin Smith with another Ohio State touchdown. Defense has looked as fluid as could be. JT Barrett now with five touchdown passes here in the half. And he read the blitz, he read the coverage, and put the ball right where it had to be. Like I said, he's over 300, he's 311 yards now. Smith just does the rest. Ernest Calhoun from the two. to the 21. Consistency at quarterback, but I do know the consistency of those two pass rushers they have down there. They're pretty good. Colin Reardon.
blue cat. Fakes the throwback screen and spikes the ball into the ground. The officials rule that a fumble. I would think that that would be an incomplete yeah. pass. Yeah, he's his arms coming forward. See the throw, and it just kind of comes out of his hand. And his arm is going forward. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. And that might take us to halftime on the run by. And they will get one more playoff. He's under pressure. And that takes us to halftime. Now there's a flag. With a flag down. Best interference. Defense number five. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. We'll extend the period with one untimed down. So one untimed down after the penalty. And Reardon tries to extend. Up the sideline. Out of for the start of the season. That turned things over to JT Barrett. But Cardell Jones was right there head to head with JT Barrett trying to fight for that backup spot. Ernest Calhoun opens up the second half with a with some consistency. They'll try a little throwback screen, and that ball incomplete on second down. Four-man rush on third down. Reardon delivers a strike, but short of the sticks. And the kick's blocked. It is a staple of Urban Meyer coach teams. The ball's still loose down inside the 10-yard line since Urban Meyer arrived. Well, you know, it's pretty easy to block a kick when nobody blocks you. And he does just that. And when I see Quint, I'm going to owe him a dollar because he bet me a dollar they'd block a kick in this game, Q. Kent State has their offense on the field, and Reardon will throw from the end zone. And he'll be run out of bounds at about... Nick Holly to about the five-yard line. Got a chance to be really good. Reardon from the end zone. And getting swamped under is Josh Boyle. And Melchiori gets away a knuckleball. Jalen Marshall at the 42. Inside the 30. Score. JT Barrett hands. And up the gut goes Curtis Samuel. Samuel again. Cunningham is there to help pick him up. After a gain of five, it'll be third. Nice play fake that sets up a wide open edge pass to Evan Spencer. That's what they played a little different than, than they did back in the day. The Dell offense. Motion. Number four offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Samuel gets another chance on the cutback to about the six. Carlos Hyde was nice. The guard moved inside to center. And a nice block for a touchdown to Jalen Marshall. And it was Price's block that sprung. Taking what the, deep, what the defensive guy gives you. See how he gave a little bit and captured the tips turn. As a defender, that's what you hate. Ernest Calhoun's going to need ice packs tonight. That's another kickoff return for Calhoun out to the, with Alabama and did for a while. That's an interesting game. A little wheel route down the sideline. Pass interference. Defense number 55. 15 yards to the previous spot. Automatic first down. Got to fix up on those mistakes. JT Barrett today with a big day. He played against him last year. He was a scout team quarterback. How would you run a distance blitz? Everything just giving you little keys to let you know what might be coming and, and what's, what's ahead. Thank you, Ryan. Continue su success. All right, Quinn, thanks very much. Third down. Advantage of that. He'll have them lining up all over the place, covering things that he you'd look at and you'd say, boy, that's unsound, and it isn't. So Shazier athleticism will look just like this putt return. Speaking of athleticism, Jalen Marshall. Illegal formation on the kicking team. Five players in the backfield. That followed the end to the end of the run. First down, Ohio State. Cardell Jones on a keeper. He's got a first down. They made the switch to the number two, kind of like, eh, he's playing pretty good. Let's see what he does. And then all of a sudden, Braxton. Day, Braxton Miller gets hurt. And so all of a sudden, the media goes right back to that press conference and goes, whoa, JT Barrett's ahead of... Cardell Jones 
Leaves it for Curtis Samuel. And he almost... Up the middle. Stopped initially. Keeping his feet alive. Curtis total service right here. He gets hit. Understands exactly. Now watch, his hand is down, but his wrist isn't down. Maintains his balance. Here in Columbus, home of Al Davis. Six touchdown passes for JT Barrett. He's now done for the day. And Cardell Jones just took them on the short field and led them on another touchdown drive. And here's Ernest Lang tonight. Not only Oklahoma, but also USC is at BC. Buckeyes. Roughing the passer. Defense number 10. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. So the Golden Flashes with a first down and a handoff to Anthony Murray for a couple of yards. Yet to be determined medical issue, but it has really been something that's been difficult for these kids. Blitz coming. Strzok unloads, throws it away. But the Kent State administration and team agreed that no, we're beyond that. It's, it's time for us to move forward. The punt will be downed, it looks like, inside. Back to the offense, Cardell Jones. And the Buckeyes, and they'll run it straight ahead with Curtis Samuel. Everyone on the same page. A swing pass from Jones to a wide open Samuel, and he's down the sideline. Their guy. Who's the guy who they're going to say, this is going to be our bread and butter for running? I don't know. You played him years ago. It's like, oh, I got to stop Archie Griffin. Oh, I, I got to stop, you know, whoever it was. That's the tough guy. Cardell Jones keeps it himself, uses the stiff arm. He's tough to bring down. That's a big man. The team is supposed to beat a little a lesser team. And Curtis Samuel right at the... And they have done just that from that loss last Saturday in this building. Ball goes up the middle for... Yeah, the middle of the third quarter, he's been keeping it on the ground. Up the middle, Samuel for four yards it's on just the outcome of last weekend he's trying to turn the corner and get down the sideline and doing so is Samuel he may have stepped out of bounds if not oh, so we'll let it play does Samuel get in stop shy of the goal line he's in second and goal there's another touchdown Curtis Samuel again 66. They may need to be at the end of the season. Virginia Tech's in the red zone as they are trying to punch one in against East Carolina and make it a one score game in the fourth quarter again. And he'll drop back and throw one over the middle that's intercepted. Eric Smith picks it off for the Buckeyes. And Ohio couldn't step into it. Watch the pressure come up. He feels it and he just. Throws it to the middle of the field, which you can. You've got to. See. Yeah, there are now some empty seats, but you're right, Quinn. It was a full house, even for Kent State. You can fit over 100 this past offseason. Ball up the middle, and the ball comes out. And Kent. Well, there have been some massive crowds in this building. The record, because of. Strzok pulls it down. Gets out to the 20 yard line. Strzok throws one up for grabs down the sideline, out of bounds. Pass interference, defense number 13. 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first. He's got the skill people here. Nothing there on first down up the B9. Miles Kibler on the lobster guy. I'd take that spaghetti any time <laughs> of the week. That's what we like about you. Yeah. Touching of a pass on the offense. There it is. Austin down at the previous spot. Fourth down. Melchiori with a line drive punt. Fair catch called for and made at the 10 yard line. Ben Buckeyes back at the 10 yard line. Just about a law to help other people at all times. <laughs> keep myself physically fit, mentally awake, and morally straight. Thank you. 2.18 to nothing lead. Ball again. Picks up a yard or two. And he's as, as good a player, he's an even better person. You just say, man. And so the question is, did they get better this week? And the answer is... And it's off the side of Johnston's foot. Shankadelic. Shank to mid... 
for the turnover downtown. And not give them extra yards. They didn't get that done. Blitz Ooh. coming. Strock pancaked. They brought a blitz and they forgot to bl <laughs> forgot to block some people. Taekwon Lewis. That screen blown up. Wobbly kick, fair catch, and instead allowing it to bounce is Jalen Marshall, and it rose all the way down to got a 66 to nothing lead over Kent State and the backup quarterback. Cardell Jones with a little speed handoff to Johnny Dixon, and the wide receiver turns the corner. Another end around to the near side. Again, it's Johnny Dixon. Another gear down the sideline before he's cut down. Game here today. Offense number 85. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat, second down. Third down and a couple. Cut back and hurt. Right up the middle goes ball. Jet sweep again to Johnny Dixon. And he picked tomorrow's race. Also available live on Watch ESPN. Ball gets outside, uses the stiff arm, gets dragged in. And then the parts that you were beat physically, like that one, you at the end of the year. Cardell Jones lets a few seconds tick off the clock, throws it the length of the field, and that will end the game.